This week, I'm going to show you how to make two spring cake pops, a ladybug and a bumblebee, just like the ones I made for my cake pop cake, if you saw it on my Facebook or my Instagram. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make those. Uh, and um, next week, I brought my little chicken and my bunny. I'm going to show you how to make these two for Easter next week, two at the same time. Two today, two next week, and you know, you'll be ready for spring. Um, the bumblebee and the ladybug are really cute for um, birthday parties or baby showers or just a spring event that you're going to take something to. So hopefully if you've never um, seen how to do one or you're not really sure, this will help you with that. So I already stuck my sticks in them because I wanted them to be um, cooled and kind of frozen before I dipped them for you so we don't have to run to the freezer and all that stuff. So, but I'm going to show you real quick how I kind of mold them with one of my cake balls. So you just need a cake ball. And for the ladybug, you're going to use, she's going to be on her flat side. You're just going to kind of press down like this, trying to get her a little flat. And then if she starts to crack, you'll just give her a little roll. This one's a little, a little oily right now, but you know, these aren't for anybody. They're just kind of. They're my models. These are going to be my cake pop models for you guys. So you're just going to press down kind of like a, a dome for her. That's how you would do the ladybug. And then for the bumblebee, I used my My Little Cake Pop snowman mold to make my bumblebee because I like him to have a little bit of a head so he's separated from his body because um, it looks really cute like that. Um, you could do that for the ladybug too, but then you would have to dip her head in black and I, I don't feel like doing that. So, But you can use your your My Little Cake Pop snowman mold for a lot of different things and I just used it for my bumblebee on my display um, two weeks ago so it was really cute like that but for if you don't have a My Little Cake Pop snowman mold you can easily take your cake ball and roll it into kind of like a cylinder roundish cylinder shape like this for a bumblebee so he doesn't have a head so you'll put his face on here like that but if you do have the mold obviously you know how to use it and you're just going to open it up and you're going to stick your your cake ball inside and then you're just going to press down and give it a little squeeze and knock off any extra that's overflowing out of the sides just like that. We're going to open it up because somebody asked me how do you use the molds? Um, probably because they've never seen them and they've never um, they don't have them so it's really easy. It's a lot easier than taking a ball, then, you know, cutting it and making it into two balls, one smaller than the other, and then just kind of figuring out how to put the head on without it falling when you dip in your chocolate. It's just one piece that comes together. And then you have these little bits of um, extra cake that you just kind of brush it off like that with your finger, or you can just smush it in, whatever you feel like doing. So that's how easy it is to use your mold and just have this little bumblebee body. So I've already um, put the sticks, and then off for my bumblebee, I took the stick and I put it on an angle, kind of like so he's ready to go, he's ready to fly. Um, so let's dip them real quick. I like to dip their bodies um, and then go back and do the details if I'm doing a lot. So you're going to need yellow for your bumblebee, obviously. You're going to need red for your ladybug, and then black for the detailing, whatever you're going to do, eyeballs, antenna. You'll see how I use it. Um, when we get to the decorating part. So let's real quick dip our um, bumblebee. And when you when you do these, I, I put them in the freezer. I mean, I don't usually put my cake pops or cake balls in the freezer because I don't want them to crack. But when you're doing shapes like this, you're worried about them falling off or something like that, you can do that so that, you know, it's easier to fix the crack. Like I've said in my other videos, it's easier to fix a crack than to try and, you know, save a cake pop from falling off the stick inside your chocolate. So I've already stuck the um, stick in the candy and into the, into the bumblebee, and it's been frozen. So we're going to dip them in, pull them out, and just like I showed you in my basic cake pop video, or any video probably, you're just going to tap off all the extra. And I like to do it this way because it really gets all the bubbles and the chocolate running down rather than banging it on the side of the, the mug. I'm afraid of him kind of flying off. And like I said, you want to pop all the bubbles. 
and he might crack, but like I said, we can fix them. We can fix a crack. If you were doing like a ball, you don't want any cracks because you're just going to have to, um, oh man, look at him. See, sometimes when they're frozen, the chocolate starts to get, um, starts to dry very quickly. So this is the case with him. So you want to make sure that it's not too, too cold. See, now I have some bubbles and um, little pockets on him, but I can fix them. It's not a big deal. This did not happen last time. I'm just going to fix them real quick. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take a little bit of candy and just cover them up, and then you can smooth them out. And actually, when I decorate him, he's probably just going to, you're not even going to see it. You're not going to notice. Like I said, it, like I was saying, if you're going to do a plain ball, you do not want cracks because those are going to be noticeable. But if you're doing a decorative cake pop like this, you're going to have a lot of decoration on them and you're not going to really notice if you have a repaired crack or a repaired air bubble. He's already cracking. He's crazy. Crazy bumble bee. You're going to have a seat right here. Let's do the ladybug. And whatever I need to fix on him later, I'll do that. Ladybug. Go in. She's already cracked. The cake's cracked. Pull her out. Tap all the chocolate off. Air bubbles are everywhere. Ugly little air bubbles. Tap off all your... Now, for the ladybug, I use a um, junior mint for her head. So, I'm going to put that on right away when I do the ladybug. You put that on right away. And if you don't have junior mints, you can use um, a cake ball if you want. You can use fondant if you want a ball of fondant. Whatever you want to use, you can use. You're going to push it on while it's still wet. And, like, you're going to have to hold it because you don't want it to slide off. Just hold it. Let it dry on there real quick. Doesn't take too long. You don't want it to slide off. So see, it's pretty much stuck right now. So there's her little head. That's the only thing we're gonna do right away. Um, for her spots, I, I do them one at a time. And I use the candy to do that. All right, so we dipped our bodies. Now it's time to decorate, that's how quick and easy they are. Um, for the ladybug and the bumblebee, I you could use chocolate candy or black chocolate candy for the spots and the lines or the stripes. You could. Or I like to use the fondant because it's a nice deep black and it's and it's 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 um all going to be the same color and it's all going to be the same size. All the same spots are going to be the, the size the spots are going to be the same size because I like to roll it out and then put, um, use my little, uh, all right, really, there, oh god, yeah. usually I would use a little bit of, uh, what is that called, powdered sugar, yeah, powdered sugar to help it from sticking. But the black, it, the black is really awesome. It's not very sticky. It's just kind of, because I'm using wax paper, it's kind of going with the paper and going with the roller, sticking to it. See, now it's cooperating. So you're gonna need a roller if you're gonna use the fondant, and you're gonna need some black fondant. I like to buy this kind of fondant. Um, it's called Fonderific. I got it at AC Moore, because I'm not, I don't make cakes, so I'm not like, decorating a cake. I only need a little bit of fun at a time for whatever I'm doing and they have several colors. I wouldn't even know how to attempt to get a fondant, marshmallow fondant, any fondant, this black. I'm not doing it. I don't need to do that. I'm making cake pops. I'm not covering a cake. So I'll buy little the little tubs of that at AC Moore to do my decorating. So we roll it out. Take this little um, frosting tip. It's a Wilton frosting tip and it's a number 12. And then you're just going to go in the fondant like that. Use a cake pop stick or a toothpick or something to 
poke the little holes, uh, the little dots out. Just like this, we need six. I like to do six for the ladybug. Pop out six little spots because now they're all the same size and now they're all the same nice black. And like I said, if you don't have fondant or you don't want to do fondant and you're, you want to do something really quickly, you can use your candy melts to, to make your spots and to make your, your little line down the middle that I use. <clears throat> and also for the line, I'm going to try this. I never did this, but um, I'm going to use fondant for the line that goes down the middle of her back. Last time, I usual, usually I, I'll pipe it on or toothpick it on. This time I'm going to, so I have this cool little whatever it is fondant cutter and I'm just going to make a nice little straight piece of fondant just like that. Just to put, actually it's a little thick, I don't like that one. It's kind of a thinner one. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to do it this way. Maybe you find something useful that you didn't do before. Maybe you just want to stick to what you know. This is just me trying to, um, I'm actually doing things I, I've never done before. Sometimes I do my cake pops the same every time and sometimes I try new things because I never used to find it for my ladybug before, before um, the spring event. Still, it's a little bit thick, but it's not as thick as the first one. So we'll just put this down the middle of her back like that. Oh, it's windy out. You hear that? Oh my gosh. See? Oh no, this is not long enough. And this is why this is Cake Pop Crazy Live, because this is this is what's happening in my life right now. Not this isn't a perfect video. This is just this is how things happen. Okay. And I might cut this 17 times before I find the, the thickness and the length that I like. But like I said, I've never done, th done it this way before. But see, now it matches the spots. It's this dark. Now, what's going to bother me is that that Junior Mint isn't the exact color, but it's all right. We'll get over it. So what I would do now is now that I have the length that I like, I'm going to take some black chocolate and I'm going to use it as my glue, toothpicks. See, now last time I just took my black chocolate and I went straight down her back with it. But then you're constantly going over it to make sure it's straight and perfect and it's all the same. And So I just put a little bit on her back so I can make sure it sticks real good. And if you don't have fondant and you don't want to do fondant, don't do it. Just use the black candy melts to make your lines. Put it in a baggie and pipe it or... Just use your toothpick to do it. So, now this went down her back really good. And I'm just going to stick it right under here, just like that, with a little bit more candy melts. Now, she still has the opportunity to crack, and she could. I see some oil happening. If she does, you just take some candy and go over the crack, scrape it off, smooth it off with your finger, and fix that crack. So now she has her little black line going down her back and we're just going to use some candy melts again to put on the little spots. I got one, two, and I'm going to put it on real quick before it dries. Just like that. Then you can put as many spots as you want. If you do the black chocolate, look at look at this. Oh my goodness. Make it a mess. But look, now they're all the same color, they're all the same size. They're all very bold and black. I really like the fondant. It. It's a little bit more work, but it comes out better. Like I said, this is the first time I used fondant. I've always used just black candy melts for um, black melted candy to make my spots or to make my line, but I do like the look of this better. So, now she's covered with spots and she's got her little line down her back. We're going to do her face. For the face, we needed, oh man, you know what I forgot? I'm going to have to run out on this video. 
Um, first of all, we're going to need little white confetti sprinkle for two eyeballs. So, let's put our eyeballs on. You're going to put a little dot of chocolate. Just like that, right on the front of her, um, her face, her little junior mint face. Pop on the confetti sprinkles for two eyeballs. There. Now she has two eyeballs. Um, and then what we're going to do is when her eyeballs are not moving anymore and they're definitely stuck on, we're going to draw the little black spots in there for her eyeballs. And what I did, or what I usually do, is I have little red lip sprinkles that you get at um, Valentine's Day time. Um, for Valentine's Day cake pops, I like to use all my animals or my bugs or whatever I'm doing to, to get a little get, give it a little mouth. That's what I did with my cake pops two weekends ago, and that's what I need to run out and get real quick. Stay here. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, sorry about that. So, I have several, probably hundred of these. See, they're really cute. They're just a little lip sprinkle. If you don't have these, take your red candy melts, draw a little smile, draw a little pair of lips on her. You don't have to use the sprinkles. But because I have them, I have to use them. That's how I am. All right, so another little dab of chocolate for her lips. And if you are using the red, just the red candy melts, just draw a little smile or a little set of lips on with your, um, she's dripping oil. Good Lord. When you have an oil leak, you're just going to take a clean, dry paper towel, pat it off, because you can't catch every bubble. Sometimes this just happens. Just pat it off, pat it dry, and when, when you're confident that there's no more oil coming out, then you can cover it up a little bit with some um, melted candy to go over it. All right, so she's almost done. She's got her lips, she's got her eyeballs on, she's got her spots. Now we're just gonna put in a little bit of black right in the little white parts of our eyes to make a nice little eyeball. So take your toothpick, dab a little on, just a little bit, right in the center, or if you want to have her looking up, however you want her to look, just put them right on, just like that. And she's done except for her antenna. For her antenna, I like to take those strings of chocolate from my toothpick. You could, people said to me, why don't you pipe it? You could pipe it. I have better control with my toothpick than I do with piping details, very little details. So I like to use the toothpick. I can't get a controlled um, thin string of uh, chocolate coming out of my piping bag or my bottle. With my toothpick I can. So this is why I like to do it this way. So we're going to get a little bit. and draw a little curly antenna on her. A little bit again. Start from her head and go up. I don't breathe when I do this. I'm not breathing. I'm not breathing. I'm not breathing. There. Okay. All right. So you just take a little bit of chocolate and you draw the little curly cue straight and then just curve it out. Curve out your chocolate string. And you have her antenna and she's done. Now the bumblebee, who was giving me a hard time with his 
Oh my goodness, he cracked. Oh my gosh. All right, let's look. He cracked. So to fix him, we're just going to take some yellow candy. Oh, really? Which is already starting to get hardened in here. I don't even know why. It's not even that cold. And we're just going to take a little bit of string. This is You can't do this with piping. You have to do this with toothpick. Take a little bit of candy. Go over the crack. Completely like... Do the best you can to do it as thin as possible. But sometimes... Oh my gosh. No. This is going to get dry before I finish it. Okay. There. I just covered up the crack real quick. And I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm going to scrape it. Scrape it off. Oh really? This guy is going to be an ugly bumblebee. I scraped it, but it's still not as good as I would like it. Now you can either keep trying to save him or you could just move on. I'm just having a hard time with bubbles lately. I don't know about you guys, but these bubbles really get on my nerves. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Somebody help me. Somebody tell me what to do. All right. I did it again. Uh, I went over it again. And now you can take a paper towel and kind of polish the crack after you fill it. Give it a little polish. Give it a little rub to get off whatever is like thick and like showing up really badly. I'm glad this stuff happens during these videos so I can show you how. I'm glad but I'm not glad because it makes me very angry when they crack. But then you can at least see how to fix this because I know we've all cried over cake pops and had such a hard time with a crack or with it falling off or with the candy melts being too thick. So frustrating sometimes but when you're all done you're like, oh they look good and, it, and it's over and people are happy when they get their cake pops. So I'm really just rubbing all that into the crack so that it smooths out, which you can do. It's a clean paper towel. You'll just like kind of polish it. Or like I said, throw them in the trash. But I don't have another one, so I'm not throwing him out. I actually have that one right there, but I'd have to wait for him to freeze, and I'm not doing that. So, what do you think about covering him with fondant stripes. Let's do that. So, since I have it, I'm going to cut some more fondant and wrap it around him for his stripes. Gosh, sometimes I need a ruler. Sometimes they're too thick on one side. What do you think? Let's see. Aww. Now, if I do it this way, I'm probably only going to get, oh, Oh no. No, stop moving. Stop moving. Oh, that's cute. Okay. There you go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of chocolate to secure this fondant. This chunky chocolate. What on earth? It's black. Black's good. The black is still very liquidy. So I'm putting on my fondant stripes and I'm securing it with some melted candy. Otherwise, they're not going to stay. You obviously have to secure your fondant on your cake pop with something. So we have one stripe on. I'm going to secure the other side. Just a little dab. I just put a little dab and now I'm going to put that... A little stripe. I'm not crazy about this. I don't know. Alright, so we have one on, and it's alright. I mean, there's no good way to do stripes with the wings. Alright, let's do, let's do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to roll it a little bit more, roll it out a little more to make them a little bit longer. Same fondant I use for my 
Ladybug. I have what? Gosh, it's so thick. All right. Wrap it around his little neck. Ah, it looks like the scarf. <laughs> I gotta cut this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Still more. I gotta cut. Okay. He's gonna be cute with this little fondant neck. All right. Is that good? That might be good. I don't know about this guy. <laughs> what do you think? There. All right, so. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing a scarf. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. All right, let's secure this with some chocolate. Oh, Lord, help me. I'm, I'm still getting over from being sick. I mean, I'm not sick anymore. I took my antibiotics and last week was really bad, but <clears throat> I'm still just like, you know, dealing with the remainder of whatever. So, okay. There. Oh, man. Look, I promise you. I know what I'm doing. It might like seem crazy today, but I do know what I'm doing. You can see, you can see the stuff I do on Instagram or Facebook, and it always turns out okay. It might, it might be a crazy uh, adventure to get to that, but it always turns out okay. Oh my gosh, what is happening? All right. Do we want to do one more stripe on his back end? Yeah. All right. So for his wings. We're going to use little candy melts. I use white. And all you're going to do is take your candy melt and just cut the little piece off the end so that it's flat when you put it on for his wings. Just like this. And now last time I did use um, black candy melts to make his stripes after I put the wings on. So this is something new for me. I never did this way before. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of black and put it on the wing to secure it because we're going to be putting it right on that black fondant just like this press down wow oh and then so you need two wings obviously what is happening I'm getting black everywhere a little more black on your wing for the other side and just press it down onto the fondant. He looks like he's wearing a scarf. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so now look at his wings. How cute. I still think I want to put a little more black on the back. Let's do a little black on the back we can. More fondant. Wow. Alright, I'm going to cut this one in half. So just play with the fondant. If you never work with fondant, it's fun. It's fun for flowers. It's fun for stuff like this. Alright, really? No, it's not going to work. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, you know what will help? If I take it off. There. What? Um, look at that. I'm making a circle. I'm going to make a little circle. Oh my gosh. This guy is giving me such a hard time. I know what I could have done. Isn't it crazy how you think about how what you could have done oh, instead of doing what you're doing and then you don't realize it till Like that happens to me sometimes when I'm doing like 35 cake pops, and on like the 33rd, I'm like, oh man, I should have done it this way. And then it's like, why didn't I think of that before? You could take a little circle um, cookie cutter and um, make a little circle for the fondant in the back. This is, this 
Okay, almost done guys, almost. <laughs> this is not doing. You need more candy melts. Oh, look at this. This is what happens when your candy starts to get hardened. In this crazy spring, not spring weather. It's so dark outside today. Really? Really? Look, this is what happens in my life when I'm doing cake pops and nobody's around. And I'm by myself. I do talk to myself. I do talk to them. And I'm like, are you really them? Really? Really? All right, look. We got a little circle in the back of fondant. I don't think I'm ever going to do fondant on my bubble bee again. I think I'm just going to stick with the chocolate. So we both learned something today. Oh, no. All we need to do now is his face, which I need black for. So I'm going to start up because I know there's still some smooth at the bottom. Rather than running to the microwave. We used everything, right? Yeah. Okay. So for his little face, you're just going to take your chocolate and do two little eyeballs. One. Two. I don't like them. Goodbye. Do it over. Do over. Do whatever you want. Over and over and over again. So you do it the way you like. I could use the white and the black on here for him, but I like the little black beady eyes for him. He's cute with those. So we got two little eyeballs. And we need a little smile. So. There's his smile, his eyeballs and his smile. One more thing we need is antenna. Just like we did for the ladybug, we're gonna take some nice strings. Look, straight line and a curl. What on earth? And then, oh my gosh. Straight line and a curl. Oh my, straight line and a curl. This chocolate got hard very quickly. The red is still fine. I don't understand these chocolates. I, I, anyway, here's your ladybug. Here's your bumblebee. And hopefully this wasn't too painful for you to watch. Um, maybe you'll, hopefully you'll do them better than me. <laughs> Have better luck than I did this time. It doesn't usually go this crazy, but I did try something new. Like I said with the fondant, I tried something new. And my chocolate did get hard, but um, like I said, there's no, get out of here. There's no, um, no, get out of here. There's no um, pausing going on or <laughs> to the kitchen um, to reheat the chocolate. It's just like, let's do this. Let's get this over with. Again, I said I'm going to do my chick and my um, Easter bunny next week. So hopefully you'll come back and watch how to do these really cute little cake pops. Again, using my... Um, my little cake pop snowman mold. So hope to see you again. Bye.